judgment, sexism, racism, doubt. What is it about our human species that we keep knocking on the door of fear pushing away love? And what if everybody here in this room, right here tonight, all of us, what if we had the ability to fix these things? Would you guys be interested in that? Yeah. yeah I mean, would you be interested in coming up with a solution or at least thinking about one? Sure. Would you be interested? Yeah. Raise your hand if you are. Yeah. All right. So for those of you that raised your hand, on a scale from 1 to 10, think to yourself, what's my anxiety level right now? What is my fear level right now? One to 10. One nothing, 10 being the max. And more importantly, what is my sense of connection to the other people in the room, specifically the people you don't know? One to 10. Now, <clears throat> for those of you that raised your head and said you were in, here's my thing. Quietly, I want you to look around the room, find somebody you don't know, get up and go to them right now. Do it quick, we only have 20 seconds. Find somebody you don't know, go to them, look at them in the face, no words, quiet, quiet, no words. Now just look at them in the eyes, look at them in the eyes and notice the shape, no words. Notice the color. Notice what you're feeling when you're now looking in this human being's eyes that you quote unquote don't know. <clears throat> Taking that moment. Now, ask yourself and share. I want you to share one person to the next. Name a couple of things that you were scared of as a little kid. Just two things, like the boogeyman, broccoli, or your parents. Share a couple of things that you were scared of when you were a child. And after you've shared a couple, now allow the other person to share with you. Share a couple of things that you were afraid of as a child. Okay, now bring that to a close. Bring that to a close. And now, here's the big one. If I wasn't afraid, I would. In other words, if I wasn't afraid in my life right now, I would what? What would I do? Quickly, share. If I wasn't afraid, I would. <clears throat> now switch, just a couple of things. Now the others switch back. Great, now find a way that you can bring this to a close in a good way for you and them and come back to your seat. Come back to your seat. So what happened? Check inside now. What's your anxiety level compared to when we started? What's your fear level now? And more importantly, what's the difference between before being connected with the people in the room and now being connected with the people in the room? Is that number different? Is it higher, lower? Do you feel more or less connected here? You feel more connected. What happened? What did we do? Anybody? You connected with some people? Human connection. What else? Say that again? You broke down some barriers. What else? Faced your fear. You faced your fear. Yeah. We took a moment and really saw something. And maybe even a little bit more important than that, you took a moment to let somebody see you. How often are you seen? I propose that it's this lack of connection, this lack of being seen and touched and regarded by another human that keeps us in these intractable problems all over, all over the world. 
So I propose that when I keep my heart open, I can develop compassion and connection. And if I have that, <clears throat> if I have a sense of compassion and connection, it makes it very hard for me to do things that harm me. It makes it impossible for me to bomb you. It makes it impossible for me to set you up in poverty. If I know you, I can't do that that way. So if I have authentic connection, it leads to collaboration. And when we can authentically collaborate together, we can fix this damn oil shit that's going on. Right? We can fix poverty. We can fix hunger. We can fix sexism and racism if we actually knew each other. So tonight when you leave here, what door are you going to knock on? Are you going to knock on the door of fear and doubt and judgment? Oh, that's their problem. That's their thing. That homeless guy out there. I don't care about him. That's his problem. He screwed up his life. It's not my problem. Or are you going to knock on the door of love? Are you going to take the key of compassion and gently slide it in the lock of your heart and open it up and be open? To me, that's the hero's journey and the shero's journey. To get to a place of love, that's what it means to be bold as love. Thank you.